Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In this lecture on DVD Chapter 5, we will be discussing about dial plan and call routing on Cisco IOS router. First, we'll be focusing on overview of Cisco call legs and dial pairs. So call legs allow basically is a hop that are required to establish a call between endpoints. Here you have uh, two routers and two IP phone. So for every steps of the call, there are call legs involved. Think about call legs is like a session. As an IP phone, you pick up the handset, you dial a number, the signal comes into the router. That is considered to be a one call leg. Once the router receives the call, it processes and it's going to send the calls to destination, which is an outbound call leg or call leg number two. In this, in this case, the call is going toward the UK router. Now, as the UK router receives a call from the cloud, it is going to receive a call on an inbound leg, and that is the call leg number three. Now, when the router receives the call, it will process the call and then send the calls to the destination. That will be another call leg number four. So, at in minimum, at minimum, you have four call legs to establish a call between two IP phone over two routers. A dial pair is like an endpoint addressing. For every endpoint, you must create a dial pair, whether it's an FXS, ePhone DN, or FXOs. These are logical connections that are used to establish an end-to-end -end call. They establish a logical connection, or known as call legs, to complete an end-to-end -end call. You can use dial pairs for inbound, outbound, and bo or both. Inbound dial pairs is required when the call arrive into the router from either POTS dial pair or from a VoIP dial pair. Outbound calls is required when the call is going out of the router toward POTS dial pair or towards VoIP dial pair, voice network. Dial pairs can define property. So every dial pair you can configure certain parameters such as you can define Kodak. One dial pair you can use G711 while other dial pair you can use G729. You can also do QoS marking by changing the preference, uh, precedence or DSP marking. You can enable VAD, voice activation detections, and you can also enable fax rate. The Cisco voice enabled routers typically use two type of dial pairs. A POTS dial pair that is connection toward the uh, plain old telephony system, such as your PVX, your another router, maybe a telephone line, um, any, anything else that can be uh, connected via POTS line, which connects to traditional telephone network using FXO, FXS, ENM, BRI, PRI, T1, E1, and CAS T1, E1. 